Welcome everyone. We will look at gamma correction. So gamma correction or power law transformation is an intensity transformation where we take the input image pixel values and raise them uh, to the power of gamma and come up with the resultant image G. Uh, so here we have an assumption that F must be between 0 and 1 that means we have normalized the pixel values which were from 0 to uh, 255 uh, to this uh, range uh, 0 to 1 by dividing by uh, 255. So when we consider different kinds of values of gamma we get uh, different types of effects. Now if we consider gamma values between 0 and 1, the operation maps a narrow range of dark pixels to a wider range of dark pixels. Now let's take for example gamma equals 0.5. Now if we take uh, these dark pixels from 0 to 0.2, uh, see the intensities are from 0 to 1 in this case we have normalized to 1 point 2 gets mapped to some value somewhere here so you see uh, this output range is larger in comparison with the input range that's why we say this operation maps a narrow range of dark pixels to a wider range of dark pixels if gamma is between a 0 and 1. Uh, the effect is opposite when uh, the gamma value is larger than 1, for example, gamma, when gamma is equal to 2. When gamma is 1, it is the identity transformation. So, what is the use of this gamma correction? Now, think about the situation where we have a window looking at uh, some outside environment. So, you have outside light coming in through the window so if we take a picture from here the window will look extremely bright and maybe inside the room will become very dark uh, so to correct uh, situations like that uh, we can apply a gamma correction so once again since this is an intensity transformation we have to compute an equation or an expression for this uh, kind of a line and have it in an array of length 256 and access that or index it uh, using the image itself. Uh, so that is by uh, using a lookup table as we saw before. On the other hand, uh, it is possible for us to get g by raising f to the power of gamma also in Python but this would be expensive in comparison with the lookup table. So we look at the code in a VS code window. Okay, first of all, we will uh, see how to plot uh, these uh, gamma values. In order to plot them, we can import the libraries that we want, matplotlib, numpy and so on. We can import these and then we can have several gamma values 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 1, 2 and 5 and so on. And then we can take each of these gamma values g and create this table. So how do we create that table? Uh, for i in NPA range 0 to 256, uh, which results in values 0 going up un, up till uh, 255. And this i we divide by 255 and raise it to the power of gamma. And then once again, multiply that by 255 to make it a value between 0 to 255 and then uh, convert that to a u intake over here. 
so through this iteration we plot these gamma curves which you saw in the slides same plot okay now let's uh, do the camera correction and uh, display it uh, using OpenCV. first using uh, this uh, simple operation okay we import open cv cv to scv import numpy a gamma is equal to 4 uh, in this case so when gamma is equal to 4 We have not plotted gamma equals 4, but we can consider a value like gamma equals 2. We take a narrow range of bright pixels and map them to a wide range of bright pixels in this case. So we see whether that happens. So open the image and the gamma is equal to 5. Four, sorry so then we raise uh, directly f to the power of gamma uh, so there you can see when i open the image i divide it by 255 uh, so therefore my f is between 0 and 255 and then open cv can display these float images so without any conversions i display so shift enter to display this so this is the input image you can see uh, too much brightness in this image uh, so we want to take these bright areas and represent them using um, a better range of gray. Okay, then uh, we can do it in the faster way by creating uh, the transformation in this fashion as we saw before. When we plotted these gamma curves, we used the same form. So OI in NP range 0 to 256 and we and divide i by 255 and raise it to the power of gamma and then multiply by 255 so this is a u int 8 uh, set of numbers and then we use uh, cv lut as before and uh, f is our image and t is our transform and then we display that same effect okay so in summary Gamma correction helps us to get rid of extremely bright or extremely dark regions and brighten them up in a more vibrant range of intensities based on the choice of the gamma value. Thank you.